up guys? So this is gonna be another tutorial on how to do a Ben TK fly through a building effect. Did this in his Hong Kong video with J.R. Ali. It's kind of similar to the hyperlapse through a door effect that I did a little bit ago, but this time it's flying through a building and it, it was a really sick way of implementing that, so I'll show you guys exactly how to do it with a building. There's my building over there. First thing you're gonna need to do is get a drone. I'm gonna fly it up here and then fly it towards the apartment and get as close to one of those windows as possible. And the second shot you need is just a shot of buildings. That's actually downtown LA back there. So I'm just gonna fly the drone around the building and get a shot of all the buildings over here. Show you guys that clip right now. Yeah, nigga, back to the bluff. Wanna get back to the bus? If I do not make a few million and shit, I might just go back to the hustle. And once you guys have all of your footage shot, we bring everything into After Effects. This is my initial shot flying into the building, and it goes all the way up to the window. This is the window that we want to fly into right here. We're gonna have to do some adjustments to the position keyframing to center that. And then you need a clip of a hallway inside of a building. This is actually a clip I found on Storyblocks because I did not have access to that apartment building and I didn't want to go in and ask and deal with security and all that. So I just found a stock clip of a hallway. Ideally, you want something at the end of that hallway that you can fly through onto the other side of the building. And in this clip, there's a little picture frame here. We're gonna turn that into a window frame. In my edit, I actually used this window here. I animated it into the other side of the building, but we're not gonna do that because that's a little time consuming and it's not necessary for this effect. We're just going to fly through this little picture frame, but make it look like a window with light coming through it. And here is the second drone shot that we're going to fly out into from the building. I hope that made sense. Anyhow, first thing you want to do is time remap these to match the speed you want this little sequence to be. So right click your clip, time, enable time remapping, put a keyframe at the beginning, put one at the end, bring those closer together to speed this portion of the sequence up. We're gonna go to quarter quality so that this renders faster. This is just going to go at a constant speed into the window. What I'm gonna do is select this first keyframe and ease out, then go to graph editor. This way we can shape that time remapping to get faster so you like zoom into the window. Select your second keyframe here, then add a ease in effect, and then make it so that it's a smooth ramp into the window. Now your clip should look more like this. Now we're going to have to keyframe the scale in position of this clip to center the window because it is not quite centered. Press P to bring up your position. We're gonna have to separate dimensions here. Keyframe your X and Y positions by pressing these stopwatches. And then we'll go to the end and center the window. Boom, now it's centered. However, you can see there are now black bars on the edges, so we need to keyframe the scale as well. So press S at the beginning of your clip, press the stopwatch to make that first keyframe, and then go to the end, and then zoom in as far as you need to to cover the full frame. Let's try 65, and then we're gonna have to recenter the position. Press U to open up your keyframes. Reposition that. Let's zoom in a little more. Let's say 70, and then adjust your X keyframe again. There we go. Now the window is centered, but that is animated really funky, so we're gonna have to go into graph editor and play around with these keyframes. So let's open up graph editor for your, our X position. Go to your first keyframe, do an ease out and then do an ease in on the last one. And then we're gonna have to adjust these so it looks smooth and straight. That looks better. It's not centered here though, so let's pull this one out. Let's try there. That looks a lot better. Okay, the end looks funky. You just gotta play around with this until it looks good. Now, your clip looks like this. I think playing around the X keyframes did enough there so we don't really have to mess around with the other ones. So there we go, that is your first clip in the sequence. Now we need the hallway clip. So bring your hallway clip up next to your first clip. I'm actually going to shorten this because it's a pretty long clip. 
I think the hallway portion should be a little shorter because I think the drone shot into and out of the building are a little more exciting. So I'm going to actually speed this clip up a teeny bit. Let's see if that's good. Yeah, that's a good length there. Now we just need to time remap our last clip. So enable time remapping, put a keyframe at the beginning and end of your clip, and then bring that last one in. And there is our last clip. I actually want it to be slower towards the end and faster towards the beginning, so I'm going to adjust this time remapping to be a little faster at the beginning and then kind of slow down towards the end. And of course you can do your speed ramps however you want. Okay, so now here is our sequence. We're going into the building, through the hallway, out the window, onto the other side. Now we just need to do a little extra to make it look pretty and smooth. First thing we need to do is animate these windows so that they open. So first let's actually pre-compose this first drone shot. We'll say, we'll call it drone shot one. And then duplicate that layer. We're going to have to take this top layer. I would actually shorten it so that it's only a few frames long. This will be the length of time it takes for your windows to open. The windows are gonna start opening at this frame and then open throughout that little segment. Now we go to the bottom bottom layer and then we're gonna create a mask to mask out that window. So let's draw a mask around the window. This is gonna be the hole through which we fly through. Boom. We got that mask and then we're going to have to track that mask. Press M to open up your masks. Right click mask one and then track mask forward. And let's see how well this does. And it looks like After Effects did a pretty good job at tracking that actually, so we don't have to go in and make any adjustments. So now that that is tracked, you wanna switch that to a subtraction mask. So let's solo out this layer. You'll see that that is now a hole through which we can fly through. And let's actually Control Shift D separate this clip from the beginning because we don't want this hole to be there throughout the entire clip. So go to the first portion of that clip and delete that mask. So now the hole is only present during that portion where the windows are gonna open. Now we need to cut out those windows and animate them so that they open. So you draw a mask around the left window. Boom. Really easy. It should just be a rectangle. So now we have that mask and we're gonna have to track that too. So press M, right click, mask one, track mask and track that mask. Now we need to do the same for the right window. So let's actually duplicate this layer, delete the mask that we have on there because we're not using that one, and draw a mask around the right window now. Boom. So press M to open up your mask, track mask again, and let tracker do its thing. Let's actually rename these. So this is left window. This is right window. Now we want to make both of these layers 3D layers. Now that they're 3D, we can animate them so they rotate in 3D space. Let's go to the first frame of both of those. Press R to open up your orientation keyframes and then click these stopwatches here so that we can animate the orientation. Then go to the last keyframe and rotate them the way that we want them to open. And they're going to be open like that, but now we need to move them over so they're like actually attached to the windowsill. So go back to the first keyframe, press P to open up your position keyframes. Then we're going to animate the position of these windows throughout the entire clip. So let's bring this one out here so it's still attached to the windowsill. And then we'll bring the left one out here. And we're actually gonna bring these down below the window hole so that they it looks like we're opening into the actual apartment. And then just go through and keyframe those positions. I actually have a more detailed tutorial on this. I will put a card on the screen. I'm kind of going through this really fast, but I did a tutorial on how to do a hyperlapse through a door transition that Ben TK does all the time in his videos and a lot of other people use it as well. Uh, Matt Como for one. Check out that tutorial if I'm going a little too fast during this segment. ADHD is a social experiment. Who pay attention the most when they're hearing it? Boom. Now we have our opening windows. These window masks though look a little rough, so let's add some feathers. Select them both. Press F, add some mask feather. I think 25 should be enough. There we go, that looks pretty good. So now we have our opening windows, but it's black space behind there, so we wanna drag our hallway clip to be underneath the windows opening. 
So there we go, we're straight into the hallway now. And now we just need to come out of the other side of the building. So we need to cut a hole where this little frame is on this clip. Let's actually switch to the effects workspace because this color stuff is annoying. So now in order to go through that little picture frame that we're gonna make into a window, we need to first mask that out. So let's duplicate our hallway clip. Let's actually rename it hallway so as to not be confused. Using and then actually let's make this second clip named window. All we need to do is go to that last keyframe there Cut a hole in that picture frame where we want our window to be and then press M And we're going to right click mask one track mask and we're gonna track it backwards And if it starts to get ugly, you just have to manually go through and readjust that and just keep tracking that mask Jeez, the tracker's not gonna cooperate today, so we're gonna have to do a little manual masking here. I don't wear Prada, just bring me a white tee, I bust on my jellies, I still wear the Nikes, I roll with some hitters, I know you don't like me, I shit on you niggas, now bring me some white beats, you think I'm a killer, well maybe I might be, I ain't got no feelings, I dare you to fight me, I sleep with a leopard, I'm Now that that's all masked out, we can change that into a subtraction mask. Now there's a hole that we can fly through. It looks really dark in this clip, so we need to make it a little brighter, so it looks like a window to the outside. So what I'm actually going to do is right click down here, press new and create a white solid. So there's our white solid and shorten it to be the length of the hallway clips and then bring it between your window in the hallway and your hallway. Now it's gonna be within that window the entire time, but we don't want it to be quite that white. So let's tone down the opacity a bit. There we go, that looks pretty good. And actually let's keyframe this so that it's not as bright at the beginning because when you're further away from a light source, it, it just looks dimmer. So let's bring the opacity down a teeny bit. There we go. Now we have our window that we're flying through, but we can't actually see the buildings outside the window just yet. So we're gonna have to put that in ourselves. So go to the first frame of your second drone shot. Let's name this drone shot two. Duplicate it and then freeze frame that first keyframe. Now this is just a freeze frame of that one frame. So we're actually gonna shorten this and put it in between our white solid and hallway clips. Now the buildings are within the window. It'll just smooth out that transition a little more. So we need to lengthen that to however long we need it to be. I say right about here is good enough because anytime before that, you're not really gonna be able to see out that window, it's too small. So here we're just gonna need to animate it so that the scale and position look realistic. And I'm gonna say that that white solid is a little too white. So let's tone it down a little bit so we can actually see out that window. And then we're gonna need to go to that freeze frame named itself drone shot three. Let's say drone shot freeze frame. Scale it down so that it's within this window. It has kind of the view that you would see once you're going outside. So let's scale it down a little more. And then we're just gonna need to animate the scale and position to look realistic for this clip. I don't wear Prada, just bring me a white tee. I bust on my jealous, I still wear the Nikes. I roll with some hitters, I know you don't like me. I shit on you niggas, now bring me some white you Let's see how that looks. And that looks decent to me. Obviously I'm running through this pretty fast, but that looks pretty decent. So now we just need to add a zoom effect to connect this hallway clip to the last drone shot. So let's actually pre-compose all of these hallway layers. We'll just name them hallway final. Now we have going into the building through the window, we have the hallway. Now we just need to create a transition here through the window to the outside. We're actually not going to have an opening window. We're gonna do a little exposure transition because that's a little, little faster. If you wanna have an opening window, you can do the same thing we just did on the first portion of this effect. But this exposure transition is a lot faster, honestly, so we're gonna do that. So first thing we need to do is create a new adjustment layer. We need to add a transform effect to this. And then we are just going to keyframe the scale for this clip so that we're actually flying closer to the window because this last frame here is not all that close to it. So we're gonna zoom in really far. I think that's about enough. And then we're gonna go down to our hallway clip, press P 
separate dimensions, and then keyframe our X and Y positions. We have to do it here because if we were to keyframe the positions with the transform effect in the adjustment layer, it won't allow us to separate the dimensions for the X and Y clips so that we can use graph editor. Add your keyframes at the beginning of your hallway clip, and then at the end, center that window. Boom, there we go. Now we just need to animate those keyframes so it looks more smooth. So specifically, let's animate the scale keyframe. Select your last one, go up to graph editor, do an ease in on that last keyframe and ease out on the first keyframe. And then we're gonna make it look like a smooth ramp up because we don't need to be that zoomed in until the very end. So we're gonna make this a pretty intense zoom at the end here. That looks way better than it was a second ago. Now we just need to animate the position keyframes to be smooth as well. Looking at it, it looks like the X keyframes are fine and pretty centered, but the Y keyframes are bringing the window below the center point. So we're gonna have to play around with the Y keyframes. Open up your graph editor, add a ease in on the last keyframe and ease out on the first keyframe, and then adjust these so that the window looks pretty centered a little more centered than it was throughout the entire clip. That's better. Let's actually bring this down a little more. Boom, there we go. Now it's a lot smoother. Lastly, we just need to add one more adjustment layer. Let's name this adjustment layer exposure. Let's actually name that last one transform so we know exactly what it is. And then we're going to add an exposure effect to this exposure layer. And then we're just going to keyframe the exposure from zero up to, let's say five, uh, that's a bit bright, four, and then back down to zero, just to smooth out that transition a little more. So let's see how that looks. Uh, that was a bit intense, let's try three. And then let's just go into graph editor and edit this to make it more of a quick flash. And that is essentially it. So now let's watch the full clip go through the window and then come out on the other side. The last thing I would do is add some good sound design. That's what really sells the effect. So once you add your sound, hopefully you come up with something like this. And that is it for the effect, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below or DM me on Instagram. My, my Instagram is at Drew Kosak. Feel free to follow me on there as well. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and check out my other videos. I got a lot of tutorials posted now and I got a lot more coming. A lot more After Effects stuff since that's what most people seem to ask me for because I do a lot of After Effects work for music videos. Make sure to check out my My Year 2019 video if you haven't seen that yet. And that's it. That took like 45 minutes to, to record. 50 minutes, shit. Okay, I'm leaving now. Bye. Y'all nigga back to the bluff. Join and get back to the bus. If I don't make a few million and shit, I might just go back to the hustle. I got me some product and I ain't gonna hide it. I might just start trapping in public. I might go to